Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an exciting one. Um, I love watching these types of videos and I know that a lot of you like watching these types of videos. This is my very first one to do of this genre. And please, kids, sisters fighting as usual. Oh boy. Anyway, ignore the chaos out there. My husband's probably letting them attack each other. Um, but today I am going to show you what I got for Christmas. So, disclaimer as always, just like I said with what my kids got for Christmas video is everybody's budget's different, everybody gets different gifts, everybody's family's budget's different. Um, some people get tons and tons and tons of gifts and some people get a couple of gifts or one gift. Sometimes people get really, really big gifts, sometimes get people get small gifts. It just kind of depends. I'm not trying to brag. I'm not trying to say like, hey, look at all these gifts. Because a lot of you probably will be like, that's nothing. So, or some of you will be like, oh, that's a whole bunch. And I'm not trying to brag at all. I just think it's fun to see what people get as like a cumulative presence. You know, sometimes it's like, oh, you get this one gift and you think about that gift, but you don't think about like the whole lot of everything. And sometimes there's like fun gifts and ideas and stuff that you never even think about. I just think it's fun. So... Let's just jump right. So the first thing I want to show you is the this little bad boy. This is the Impressions Vanity LED Makeup Mirror. Um, this is white. I believe that they do have it in a couple of other colors. And they also have like an upgraded version that's like a Bluetooth one that I think responds to your phone or something. You can play music or something. I didn't need that. Um, I have my own like little... Bluetooth speaker and everything, so I didn't think that was necessary. So I just put this on my wish list. Um, I want to say it was like 30 or $40. So this is it all. Oh, look at yourself. This is it all um, set up. And it's you just press this little button right here. I still need to put batteries in it. Um, we don't have any batteries. So I need to go buy some. But then all of these little LED lights just light up and make it super bright. It also has this little tray down here that I can just put extra things. The mirror is adjustable, which is super nice and super convenient. And yeah, it's awesome. I'm really excited to use it. Um, I used it today just to put my makeup on, but I'm excited for the lighting because I have a smaller one. Um, I have a big Impressions Vanity's mirror, if you guys have seen, but then I also do like a smaller one for closer up things. And the other one that I have been using doesn't the light's broken and just a pain in the butt. So this one's smaller, but it has a bigger mirror and the light up. All right, the next thing I got was um, a brand, a purse. It's a purse, and it's from a brand I never heard of. It's from a brand called KT. KT? That's my daughter. K-A-T-T-E-E. -E. And it's this bucket, black bucket bag. I wish I could tell you like the style, but it doesn't say the style of it. Um, and I can't seem to get it to go in the middle where it's kind of like bent on one side. I think it's just because it's been laying like that. So I'm trying to like move it to the middle. But it's this black bucket bag. Um, it has a little tassel for adjusting. I love the inside. The inside's just red. It kind of makes me think of like a Louboutin. It's super pretty. And the back has a little magnetic pocket. Um, the strap is adjustable and I like the straps adjustable with studs. I think that looks kind of cool. It's just a really pretty bag. It's lightweight. It's really nice quality. Um, I really like this bag. I randomly stumbled upon it on like Pinterest or something and it took me to link to Amazon and I want to say it was $50 or $55 around that range so it wasn't too expensive. I've been using my Michael Kors bags for a number of years now. I think the last one I got was like the Hamilton tote, Hamilton messenger, Hamilton something. I want to say it was Hamilton. And I've loved that bag for a long time, and I've used it for a long time, but I'm just starting to get a little, like, done with it, you know? And I wanted something different. So I just stumbled upon this on Pinterest, and I really liked it. Um, and I just thought it was really pretty. And I don't see a lot of people having these bags. I feel like they were, like, really popular, like, a year or two ago. But, um, I don't know, I just really liked it. So I'm excited to use it. It's a good size. It will fit everything I need and not be too big, so I'm not constantly keeping junk in it so let's hope I can keep it organized because I really like it. 
All right, this next gift was actually a gift from my mother. <laughs> um, a while back, I posted, or just a couple videos back, I guess I did a um, holiday clothing haul. And in that haul, I showed you a like little really pretty velvet night set that I got. Um, and my mom knows my issues, and I talked to you guys about this, about wearing really ugly clothes to sleep in. <laughs> and looking like an old lady or a hobo. Um, so my mom decided to take it upon herself, which was a little weird because this is kind of like a scandalous thing, um, and buy me a really pretty nightgown. So this is from a brand called the Tayla Sodi, Tyla Sodi Intimates, I don't know. Um, and it's really pretty, it has this lacy, boob area. Um, it's not cupped or anything, it's just comfortable. Um, and the back is this beautiful razor back with this opening cutout in it. Um, it's really pretty, it's super soft, nice and floor length. Um, underneath the bust there's like another little lace peekaboo. It's so nice and stretchy and comfortable. This is a plus size, this is in a 1X. I think I would have honestly gone up to the 2X, not because this doesn't fit or is because it's stretchy or too tight. My boobs are large. So if you're a larger chested, bigger busted, and if you come across this, I don't know where it's from. I'll have to ask and see where she got this so I can try and post it for you if you guys are interested. But I definitely would go up a size if you're bigger busted because I feel like my boobs are kind of spilling out of it. Um, and yeah, but I really like it. Super comfortable. Um, it's cozy. It keeps me warm, but it's not over hot. I hate getting hot at night. I like to sleep in the frigid, freezing like air um, so this keeps me warm but it's not like overly like where I'm like oh let me just take it off or something so I really like this a lot let's jump into makeup now my husband um, is the one who indulges my makeup addiction my parents and my family members um, refuse to buy me makeup because it's so expensive and they just hate to spend the money on it. Um, my friends also, my best friend also indulges my uh, makeup addiction too, but we haven't exchanged gifts yet, so I don't know what you got me, but I will show you what my husband got me. The first thing is this beautiful blush palette from Tarte. I know this has been kind of going around through the holiday videos and stuff on YouTube, and I just thought it was so pretty. So this was $44 at Sephora, which is kind of pricey but it has tons of blushes and these are the Tarte Amazonian clay blushes which I honestly kind of have a love-hate relationship with some of them I really think are really great and other ones I think are total duds now I haven't tried every single one of these but the ones I did try are the blush that I'm wearing on my face I mixed like three so I can't remember exactly which ones but they're beautiful I'm sorry I keep getting a glare because there is this little plastic piece that kind of keeps them from touching which I will keep in here but it's just beautiful. They come with two highlighters. One's a bit more of a bronzy one, and then the one down here is a lot lighter. I will say the highlighters I haven't found to be super pigmented yet, but I only swatch them on my finger. So we'll try with a blush brush. But the blushes, on the other hand, have been really nice. The ones that I did try, they gave a beautiful blushing glow, rosiness to the cheeks. I went a little overboard, but hey, whatever. Um, it's just really pretty. It's called the Blush Bazaar. And it, the packaging is just so silky. <laughs> I don't know, like smooth and just, like I just want to keep opening it up. It just feels luxurious. So um, I definitely would recommend this if you haven't gotten it yet or haven't got your hands on it. There's a car pulling up right in front of me and it's like super embarrassing to be filming right now when someone's like pulling up. But uh, <laughs> hey, apartment life, you know. Okay, now... The next thing I got is this Rollerball perfume set. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana set. So these are all of the four... I actually think that she's come out with like amethyst and stuff now. So I think there's more than that. But these are the ones that I do have. Um, and it, it was just this little Rollerball set. I like to have Rollerballs first before I totally commit to a sit scent. And I wanted to try all the scents again. I have the Elizabeth James um, Nirvana Black, which I love. It's my favorite one. And I did, haven't tried the other three, or hadn't tried the other three. Um, so I don't know why I'm saying it's my favorite, but I just really liked this one a lot. So I wanted to give these a, um, a try. 
I haven't really got to fully use them yet, but they do smell really nice. I still think I'm a Nirvana Black girl. I like the sexy muskiness about it. But the other ones do smell really good. I will update you as time comes. But this was not too expensive. I want to say it was like under 30 Maybe? Maybe 30 I don't know. But I'm excited. I like it a lot. Um, this next little thing right here, this is the Sephora Winter Magic Palette. Now, this says it's a $32 value. I want to say this was also like $10. I put things randomly on my wish list because I make a wish list on Pinterest. Um, that's how my family gets to like access it. It's super easy. We all know what we all want. We don't get the wrong thing. Um, it just sends links. But, and I want to say this was $10. So they came out with an eyeshadow palette and a blush palette. And I don't know if they came out with anything else. I love the blush palette. I got that during the VIB sale. And so I decided, when I saw this, I decided to try this one out. It says a cute little fox on it. Looks like this. Um, to be honest with you, I was a little disappointed. I used it on my eyes today, and although it did turn out pretty, I had to use quite a bit. It was a little bit lacking in pigmentation. The colors are a little bit too dark for me, a little bit too smoky for me, but I wanted something different than warm oranges and reds and burgundies that I use all of the time. Now, I do really like how the look turned out, but I don't know if I'm going to be keeping it. Like I said, I think it was only $10, maybe $12. It was inexpensive, um, and... I've never tried a Sephora eyeshadow, so this was my first time trying it, and I was a little bit disappointed, a little underwhelmed, because I really loved the blush palette. I think the blush palette is great, and that was really inexpensive, um, so I was really having high hopes for this. It just didn't meet my expectations, so I probably will be returning this. The next thing I got was this little beauty. Now, um... My husband has now made a tradition to buy me a Anastasia highlighter palette um, every Christmas. So last year he bought me the Moonchild palette and at the time that was super hard to come by. He like fought tooth and nail to get that palette. And then the year before, I want to say it was the Gleam palette, was another Anastasia something or another. Um, and this year he got me the Sugar palette. So. This one's really, really pretty. It has a nice ombre theme to it. I really like that about it. Um, there are four big sh shades in here. I keep dropping the plastic. And I gouged the two top ones today. I'm so sad. But it comes with marshmallow, gumdrop, butterscotch, and starburst. These are beautiful. I really like them. Even though this is a little bit dark, I feel like it will still look really nice on me. I like to use dark and then light and kind of mix. I don't know. I like to mix everything. So... Um, actually, I'm really excited. I think this is, I was a little nervous about this palette, to be honest with you, but I'm actually, like, really pleasantly surprised and really excited. It had really good reviews, so that's why I got it, and because I love Anastasia highlighters. Um, but I was like, I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna like it, and I actually love it. So, it's what I'm highlighted with today. I think it's stunning. Definitely worth it. It's $40, but you get giant highlighters. And it's just, they're just, she never goes wrong with her highlighters. I think she's just awesome with it. So definitely recommend, recommend this one. Next, um, I got another highlighter, but I am a little bit disappointed in this one. And I'm not to say that this is a bad highlighter. It's just so small. This is the Becca Light Chasing Highlighter Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini. It's her like little, um, you know, these came out not too long ago. Um, and they kind of like are tonal. What is it? Changing? I don't know how to say what I'm trying to think of. But um, this is so incredibly tiny. It is so small. And I want to say this thing is like 30 something dollars. So compared to this, which is $40, and you get four giant. One of these is not even equivalent to this. Get four giant powders and then just one tiny thing. I think I'm gonna take it back. I thought it was gonna be bigger, and it's really pretty, but it's a little too pink for me. Um, there's a very heavy pink undertone to it, and to be honest with you, Gumdrop in here is pretty much a dupe for it, so there's no point of me keeping this. So I will take it back, um, and it is pretty, but it's just not, it's not worth it. Not worth the price to me. But I'm thankful for my husband for still getting it for me. <laughs> Alright, so the next product I have to show you is the Becca uh, Liquid Crystal Lip Topper. This is a glow gloss in the color Champagne Dream Bellini. 
This is basically, I think, I want to say these two came together. Or my husband couldn't find the kit together, so he bought two separate things. I don't know. Um, but, because I know that there was a kit that I put on my wish list. So I don't know, I don't know what happened with that. But this is stunning. The packaging is beautiful. I love, like, the test tube aspect of it. Um, it has, like, that signature, like, metal topper that Becca has. Um, it's just so pretty. And it smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I don't know if you guys ever did this in elementary school, but we did something called field day. And I'm sure tons of people do that. I know people do that. But it was like, um, where you just go outside at the end of the year. It's like about to be summer, so it's hot. And you play all sorts of like outside games and activities. And like they had like water balloon fights and stuff like that. It was like the most fun at the end of the day or into the summer. Into the school year right before summer came. And this just smells like it. It must be the sunscreen smell, but I like that smell, but it's like a mixture of like 20 different sunscreens, you know, from all the different kids. <laughs> it's a weird memory, but it's like totally, all right, all right, I hear you motorcycle. You must have had the same memory. I don't know. Scent is like, I think the first, the most powerful trigger for memory. I think that's what I've said, seen before. Anyway, I don't know. Um, super beautiful. I have it on my lips. I took a quick break while I was gone. Um, well, my fam, my camera died. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And I had to take a quick break to charge it. So I put this back on and it looks really, really pretty. Um, and I like this a lot. I will be keeping this one. All right. Next lip kit or lip thing is this one. This is the Huda Beauty set. I don't know what it's called. Like if it has like a name. Oh, here we go. Right there. Huda Beauty Contour and Strobe Lip Set. This is in Mew, the Muse Angelic version. First, I love the packaging. It's so freaking cute. I'm just going to put this on my vanity because I think it's so cute. I'm so excited to see this on Christmas um, because I just, I wanted this one really bad because <laughs> I hadn't tried anything from Huda Beauty yet. So I was really excited. So it comes with three different products. comes with the Lip Contour Pencil in Muse the liquid lipstick, liquid matte lipstick in Muse as well, and then the lip strobe topper in Angelic. So this is the beautiful metallic lips. It's so pretty. Um, and then we have Muse, which is also very beautiful. And then just the matching lip liner. Um, so I put this all on my lips today, and it's my first time trying out all the formulas. The lip pencil was beautiful. I really liked it. Super, super creamy. Um, the liquid matte lipstick. I know some people really like this formula and some people really hate this formula. Well, the packaging's stunning. It's just like this frosted. It's just beautiful. But I will say that this is the most liquid lip I've ever used. It felt like almost like baby oil, but not greasy and gross. It was just super slick. Um, it did dry down and it was totally fine. I actually didn't mind it, but it's something that can get messy. You have to be careful with it. Um, they also kind of smell like at least the liquid lipstick, and I don't know if all of these do. They kind of smell like like I just did a shot of like some orange liqueur or like some sort of like flavored whiskey. I don't know. It gives me like weird. It's once again scents. I don't know. It's weird college vibes, <laughs> but um, really beautiful. I really want to get the other sets from this. I probably will. I know there's at least, I think, two other ones at least, so I definitely am going to look into getting them because I really liked this. Way to go, Hootie Beauty. I'm excited to try more of your lip stuff. Well, y'all your stuff. All your stuff. I really want to try that foundation. That's what I really want to try from her too. I just remembered. So I was like thinking about what I wanted to buy from Sephora with when I take stuff back. And foundation is going to be one of them. Um, this next thing is, I don't think this is from Sephora. I don't think you can get this on Sephora. So I honestly have no idea. Um, but this is the Nest Midnight Floor um, Parfume travel spray and it comes with two refills this is my very favorite one of my very favorite perfumes I've been using my husband last year bought me the rollerball of this just like he bought me the rollerball of these um, and so I found this and I was super excited because um, I put another rollerball on my uh, things I don't know I just I didn't want to buy it put the other 
it's just so expensive. So I put another rollerball on because it's lasted forever. I still have some. And I got this, which was so exciting. So basically, it came in a sleeve, and I have no idea where that went. Um, it looks like this. I feel like I got makeup all over it already, which is sad. Um, and you just twist it, and it pops up. So it's just twistable, pop up, kind of like a travel o thing. Is that what they're called? I don't remember what they're called. And you just spray it. It's just so sexy. Like, it's sweet sexy. Like, it's warm and cozy with sweetness, but not being, like, sugar sweet. It's, like, mmm, it's so good. I get so many compliments on this perfume. If you've never given it a shot, go test it out. They have tons of different uh, nest fragrances. Midnight Floor is by far my favorite, but they have tons of them. Um, and it also comes with two extra, which is super exciting. So not only do I have more than I normally would in a rollerball, it comes with two extra um, little, whatchamacallit, extra little scents that go back into that thing. So um, I want to say, I mean, like this comes with a total of how many ounces? 2.1 fluid ounces. So crazy worth it. Um, I have no idea where he got it, so that's not helpful, is it? but so excited definitely maybe this is from sephora and it's totally yes yes love it so excited for it okay let me we're coming up we we got a lot left actually what am i saying okay this next gift is something that's like a very special gift to me now um i've mentioned before on my channel but this past february so it's almost been a year my mom was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Um, it's been the scariest year of my life, the hardest year of my life, the most rewarding year of my life. She is in remission. We found out on Halloween that she went into remission. Um, the type of cancer she has, though, the type of ovarian cancer she has is um, chronic, though, which I guess a lot of ovarian cancers are, unless it's, like, stage one. Um, so it she'll go into remission or she'll, she'll be in remission and eventually go out of remission um and then have to go through the cycle again but her doctor is someone who's very proactive about it and she's on maintenance chemo now so it's not like she just completely went off chemo she is on maintenance chemo um this is not what you came here for anyway so hopefully with being she won't have to worry about going through it all again and hopefully the maintenance will just keep away the cancer so Fingers crossed. She's doing really well. But it made me realize how many things I treasure and how much I love her so much. And I don't, I've just never thought of losing her ever. I don't know why. My dad's always had health problems, so I always thought it would be my dad, who I love dearly as well. Um, but I guess it's like you mentally prepare yourself when they're so sick so often. But my mom, it like changed my life. Nothing will ever be the same from that point on when we found out. So I started just thinking about how much I love her and how much I treasure her. And there's so many things that I just want to celebrate with her. And whenever she passes, whether it's hopefully like 20 years from now or something ridiculous, long ways away, but that I want things, you know, being sentimental. Um, and one of my biggest things is my mom is an amazing cook. She is such a good cook, she's such a good baker, she's amazing, and she has so many memory uh, recipes that she's found and made herself, ones that she's gotten from my grandmother who also passed away this year, this past April, and then also my great-grandmother who, um, I mean, I've never met her, but she, um, so there's tons of recipes and I wanted them because they're important to me and I want to be able to make them and have them for special occasions and just have those memories of her. So, um, she got this for me and this is like such a very special gift for me. Um, this is from personalizationmall.com and she got it engraved and it says Mama's Favorite Recipes down here and it has this cute little like, um, plate, metal plate with a knife, fork, and spoon. It's super cute, a little napkin. And it's just, um, she hasn't in, uh, put written down any of the recipes yet, but it has, I think, 24 different note cards for recipes that you write down. And then um, it also has like blank sheets. 
obviously, you know, this is customizable. I can easily put more of these plastic laminate uh, files in. Um, and then once, you know, through each note card fills up, I have little uh, file system that has like fruits, or fruits, uh, appetizers, soups, desserts, entrees, holidays, all that stuff. And then it also has a little extra file, like manila envelope um, for like those little, re she has tons of like recipes that she like tore out of like magazines and cookbooks and stuff like that that are really old and like about like falling apart and I want to make copies of all of them and keep them in here and so this is a very very special um, gift that I got um, and I will treasure it always. Next thing, one of my bigger gifts oh, is this. So obviously, oh, this is a Keurig. Um, this is the mint version, which is the one that I would really wanted. Um, I have had three different Keurigs. I think after about two years, they start going out. The motor um, just kind of starts like dying, I think. Um, I clean them, I use the filter stuff, I like degunk them. It just seems to like burn up, I don't know. Um, so mine was going out, it's been, I think three years. I've had that thing for a long time. So um, they got me this one, which is really pretty. Um, I have the like just basic, not so cute black one in there. So I'm really excited to put like a nice, pretty uh, mint one. I use this every single day. I said this in my last video, my stocking stuffer. Well, my stocking stuffer, not my last video, but I said that I, coffee means so much to me. And I know that sounds so stupid. And one of you uh, commented was so sweet and said that you understood because coffee, like, it means a lot. It really does. So, um, I'm so excited. This is uh, one of the things that I really wanted and I was super excited to find it. And this is the last thing and this is something that Santa, is this the last thing? Oh, no, no, no. I have one more thing. Okay, this is something I really wanted as well. This is the Google Home Mini version. This is the white one. I think they have a couple other colors. I thought this was so cool. I got this for another person. Um, another person asked for this and I got it for them. And I was like wanting it so badly. And I was like, I'll just go buy myself one. And I was like, no. No, you will not. I put it on my Christmas list and I got it and I'm so excited. I don't even really know. I don't have all these extra cool things to make things work around my house. Like we don't have all, like this has a Nest thermostat. You can use the Nest thermostat with it, like the Philips lighting systems and all that stuff. We don't have that here. I live in an apartment. Uh, we did have a Nest thermostat, but it wouldn't fit here, so we sold it. Um, and But it does work with like Chromecast, Google Photos, Netflix, Spotify, YouTube. I mean, there's so many things that you can do with this, and I just think it's so cool. So I was really excited. This was like a really good, highly reviewed item and like a big popular gift this year, so I cannot wait to set this thing up. I am so excited. Okay, now the last thing. Okay, I really quickly wanted to just add in that isn't my last present. I totally forgot, and the thing I'm probably the most excited for, my sweet husband bought me a new dining room and new dining room, new dining table and chairs set. Now I'll insert both pictures of the table and the chairs. Um, the table I had, but we haven't built it yet, um, and the chairs haven't come in. We are in desperate need of a new table and chairs. The ones that we have are just not safe for the kids, and I just want to start eating back at the table. We just never eat there, and I'm totally hating it. So we're gonna uh, donate the chair set, table and chairs that we have now, and then hopefully build that one. So maybe you guys will see that in a future video. But I just wanted to include that because it's something that I'm most excited about and I just couldn't wait to share with you and I totally like a noob forgot about it so that's all all right back to the regular scheduled programming um is this this is a planner this is the happy planner from ma'am mambi me mambi am I saying that right Did people say that 365 happy planner this was actually came in a kit um and the box is like beat to heck and this says grace upon grace. This is like the faith version. I think this is so, so stunning. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Santa was so sweet to give this to me. Um, and basically it's just, 
it's kind of similar to the Erin Condren life planner layout. I've never had one of those. Um, I do really like planners. I got really into planners and all that stuff um, a couple years ago, but keeping up with it was really expensive because at the time, really the specialized stickers were only on Etsy and that was pricey. But, but since then they've come out with so many different things. So we have the planner and that one came with like a little pack with all these extra stickers and stuff. Um, I also got these extra um, aluminum file folders that just stick right into it. And this comes in a set of one, uh, six. six. Um, I have some extra like lined note papers to add into it. These are all by the same brand, by the way. Um, and then I have two sticker books. Now these are the things that were like the most expensive thing to kind of keep up with and stickers were like all the rage. Um, and they're really cute. So this one is the color story so it just has a bunch of planner stickers for your different layouts and stuff. And some of them are really pretty and they're gold foiled. So this is the color story and then this one is just I think like a basic stickers. Um, there's two more that I really wanted but they were out of stock so I'm going to order them now myself and they're like the faith one and then like the seasonal one. But these are just really pretty fun cool stickers now I don't have to spend an arm and a leg on Etsy and different shops and these come in like full size booklets. By the way all of these things I believe you can only get them at Michael's. So I'm not positive on that though, but um, these were at Michael's. And oh, there's also these cute, this is from Recollections, which is another kind of planner brand, I think. I have no idea. I mean, you guys are like, no, that is not what it is, but I, I really, I'm just guessing. But these were cute little magnetic bookmarks. And then a pack of fine point markers. These are from Pen Gear. I've, I've never heard of these, but they look like kind of like the Sadler ones, which I really like. So I'm excited to kind of use these for it. Hopefully they would bleed through. And a set of sticky notes. So I think, I think that's it, friends. I think that's it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you, you know, found some things maybe that you would like in the future or whatever treat you. Um, I normally also get gift cards, which I got a couple of gift cards like Sephora and Chick-fil-A and like a Visa gift card stuff. So that's another reason why I like watching these videos because when I get gift cards, I like to see what other people get and I may have not seen. And it's kind of exciting to kind of look at different things like, oh, that's cool. Maybe I should go get that. So maybe you got some ideas from, for, from Sephora or like Michaels or Amazon or something. So. Um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys had a wonderful, amazing Christmas and happy holidays. And I cannot wait for this new year to start and just refresh. 2017 was a bust for me besides the birth of my amazing baby. It was a rough year for me. So I'm excited for 2018. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's a better year. And, um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.